So here we are. I'm doing some work on my second VFR here. I'm changing out the rectifier. So this is the OEM one. There is the part number. Here are the plugs. You got the three yellows that go to the stator. And then you got power, power. And then I'm guessing two grounds and a positive black. I have to look at the schematics on exactly what that is. Obviously you won't be using this plug anymore, but you will be using your stator wires. You're gonna be snipping those because you don't need this plug. These are real jinky plugs here. So we are done with this because these are just poorly designed, it's just how they were. They pump out a lot of amps all the time and they get really hot and overheat and it can cause you one if you're lucky this will burn out and it'll just kill the bat it'll just your battery will just die because it's not charging two it can burn out your stator which those are getting very hard to find uh, yeah, I say hard. They're just more expensive now. Uh, oh, if you want an OEM one. And honestly, I don't know if they're OEM anymore. Because one site with the actual Honda OEM schematics uh, said where it was coming from. It said vintage something corporate. So I don't even know if you can technically get an OEM stator for a 5th gen. 6th gens, I believe, use... Uh, I mean, it looks the same, but I think it may be different the bolts line up differently or something uh i am looking at the eighth gen ones you can tell they're different but i may buy one just to see if i can use it because you can still get uh for the u.s 14 uh, what is it 14 and 15 2014 15 i guess that was only two or 16 something like that uh we're gonna be replacing this one with the sh 847 these about the only thing i've seen these go on is a suzuki uh the 1000 the the tlr uh v storm 1000s that's the only one i've seen that actually uses uh so i got this from i'll have to put the uh name the the guy that actually get these because by the time you pay for him to get you an original one and uh it comes with he pre-wires it you tell him what bike you have uh it's actually pretty much the same price as ordering just an oem one uh these are that expensive uh the good thing about these is this is a series so it puts out a lot less amps it it really only puts out what it needs uh, so this runs a lot cooler than an OEM one. So, uh, and even the MOSFET ones, those still put out, even at, you know, idling, they're, they're pumping out like 20 amps. So, uh, you know, even those, even though they run a lot better than these OEM stock ones, uh, the MOSFET ones off of, you know, uh, newer bike, all ones, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure Suzuki has them, whatever the, uh i can't think of the number i'll put that in the link uh i'll put that in the description uh these just these are the top dogs now uh it's just if you want to pay this much uh i think the kit with the plate and honestly i don't i didn't need the plate but i got it anyways uh i think the total was two two something um, about 230 which sounds a lot because I know you can go online on eBay and get the, the the MOSFET ones a lot cheaper which is fine if you want to run that but uh, like I said it's getting harder to get fifth gen staters so I went ahead and spent a little bit more and got one of these bad boys this is so uh, obviously the OEM mounts like this and you got a lot of movement in this wire you can 90 degree that well, when you go to mount the MOSFET one or this one, and you put it here, this one is obviously a lot chunkier. Uh, the MOSFET is probably half this size, so it's not a big deal. This one, you know, you gotta account for the seat and the plastic. Uh, and so mounting like this is really not the option. You 
technically probably could clip that in and then pull the hell out of the wires. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I drilled the holes. I've got the nuts back there with some big plastic washers I made. And the, the screws that he provided are a little bit too, too long with those castle nuts, those enclosed castle nuts. So you might want to get new bolts, just regular bolts or just some washers and stuff. Uh, so I'm mounting it like this and it's gonna use the two outer holes there. It's gonna mount just like that. They're gonna clip in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip that old plug off. And this is the rectifier plug. And these plugs are so much better. They have a silicone seal back there. So they clip in real nice, keep the water out. So he provided crimps with this. I will be soldering these on uh, instead of crimping. Just, I don't, I'm not a big fan of crimps. And then on these, you're just gonna have a positive and a negative for the power. That's it, you go straight to the battery. You don't worry about uh, Honda's uh, not so well uh, power harness in these bikes. Uh, this is an fuse. You know, and this one is an auto resetter. If it blows the fuse, as soon as the power goes off, it resets itself. You can, this is what he only includes now. He used to include, um, uh, let me, let me get my old bike. Excuse me, guys, I got junk everywhere. So, my other VFR, I used the big fuse holder. And these things, so now you don't have to carry fuses. It's just going to automatically reset itself. These are, these, probably can't tell from the video this is a huge fuse so you got to carry those around this way it'll just reset itself like I said you only get a positive and a negative go straight to the battery and of course before I fully I'll I'll hook it up start it but I'm still gonna I'm gonna unplug it test the stator uh, test the resistance on each phase this is a three phase and uh check the charging of the battery and all that and how many uh amps this thing's putting out but it's just gonna mount just like this this is plenty of room that plastic curls out right here you got the big get that one bolt right there and it just curls out right there so it's nice nice space it's not the greatest location that's another reason why the oem ones burn out is uh there just really isn't much airflow uh going to it it's not in a good location if you want these run some a lot cooler i'm not worried about it but if you were uh mount it somewhere in the front uh where it can get some air uh this just is just a really bad location you have a vent there but it's you know going the other way you know it sits sits right there's where the rectifier sits uh, so that's it so i'm gonna get this mounted get this uh all wired up and we'll uh we'll check how the power goes